Hello, it's me again. Welcome to video number four. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to make a post, how to post an image, um, the best ways and places to post images, um, things that you should, you know, talk about while you're posting images, and um, just generally best practices for posting images. So let's get going here. Um, again, you're going to be starting on your homepage. This is the place where you see everything from whoever you're following or whatever groups you're following. You are not able to post in the main home section, the photo focus community section. You have to be in a group to post. So my the last video was about how to join groups in the groups that are out there right now. I suggest watching that and going through and joining groups. Um, otherwise you won't be able to post anything. So first we're going to go, I'm just going to go into a, um, so you're going to want to go to groups to make a post and you're going to want to choose which group you want to post in. So I'm just going to go into landscape photographers, um, because I happen to have an image from yesterday <laughs> that I can post. Um, what you'll see is this, you'll see a white text box next to your photo at the top of the screen. Um, at the top of the page, you can click on the the plus sign um, and you'll see where you, the camera comes up and you click on that, you can share an image and you pick your image. Or when you have the um, white box here, just clicking in the box will let you start typing. Um, generally, I think that's easier unless you wanna share your image for, put, you know, add the image first, either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, when you are, sharing images. We'd really, really like it if you would tell us about it. Explain what you shot, why you shot it, where it was, um, what compelled you to stop and take that image or create that image if it's a created image. Um, is, it a, is it an image that you were paid to do? Um, is it a client image? Um, just give us a little background. You know, don't just post an image and let and run away because uh, this community is about interaction. Um, being part of photography communities and the successful ones are all about interaction and engaging with each other, um, sharing information, um, asking questions. And that way we get more out of this. And that's what we're here for is to try and get more out of our photography and um, for ourselves and for each other. Um, so when you post an image, tell us about it. Um, if, if the most you really feel like sharing is your settings, that's fine too. Um, you know, we, we know that people like to know that question or have that question, like to know what settings were shot, um, for certain images too. Um, so you're gonna click on the photo. You're going to click on your file and I'm just going to type something here because I said we had to type something here. <laughs> Um, sharing this image to show how to post an image. And then you just hit post. I'm going to do another one in another, um, you're not going to get that little thing. So that's just posting in a group. Okay. This way, when you post in a group, people will see it. People in that group will see it. People can come and comment and, and, uh, you know, ask questions, um, so that's posting in that kind of a group. There's, there's no topics in this group. There may be in the future, a uh, breakdown of landscape, cityscape might be included. We might kind of break things up a little bit if we find um, we need to do that. But um, I wanted to go to the photo challenges group though, because this one's a little bit different because within the photo challenges group, if I go here to post an image, it's gonna ask me to add a topic because there's 12 topics under the, under the photo challenges group. So I can either pick it now um, and I'm gonna go in January challenges, or if I don't, um, and I'm just gonna do a test post here to show topics, right? So I'm gonna tell people what, what I did to take this image for whatever challenge it's for. I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna um, click an image to upload, right? And when I post this, if I don't post a topic, it's gonna ask me to pick one. You can post without it 
and it goes in the main group, but it's best obviously in this one, especially because we're, I'm posting an image specifically for the January challenge. So then when I post this, it shows up in the January challenges, photo challenges section, right? So you'll see on any of your posts in a group like this, your topic that you choose will show up when you post. So that's in a group that has topics underneath like topic headings underneath within the group. Um, most of the rest of these, I don't believe have topics. So you would just be posting to your, you know, to the a general um, group. The other thing I wanna mention, and this is, I've seen it in other, um, in other posts, but I know it's here for sure under photo challenges, um, is people who comment under, the original post, okay, with their images. And, and I, again, I've seen it like people, someone will post a landscape shot and someone else will post their own landscape shot as a comment. Well, instead of doing that, why don't you comment on the person's image, say, oh, I took a shot similar or whatever you're posting and then make your own post. So under, underneath here, people have posted images, as you, see, you can see here as comments. Well, what that does for one is it makes it a small image and you have to click on it to see it. Okay, it's just an extra step, it's fine. Um, and, you know, these are all done before we had instructions. So no, you know, it's no, there's no harm done and it's fine to do that. But if you go and post your own post, like I just showed you, you're gonna tend to get more interaction on it because people aren't necessarily gonna scroll through the comments on another post to see what somebody else posts. Um, depending on what the post is, you can learn a lot by reading other people's comments. So that's not a bad idea either. But if you're gonna post images, I would post them as their own posts. Um, and I think that's it for, for, I just wanted to find another example of that. So you just can see again what I mean. Um, you know, people have posted, let me see if I can find one fast. Sorry, I know I'm scrolling really fast, but I'll see it when I see it or I won't. Or it'll take too long and I'll give up. Yeah, okay. Anyway, you, you know what I mean? It's just, it's better to create your own post within a group, right? Instead of posting comments of images on someone else's post, you'll get far more interaction if you make it its own post. Um, I think I've repeated that enough times now that you probably get the idea. Um, as always, if you have any questions or, um, you know, there's something that's not working correctly, uh, Mighty Networks is really good. I've never had really major issues with anything in any of the communities I've been in. So, um, but if you have questions about groups or you have suggestions for groups that you want or you think would be a good addition to the community, let me know. Um, I'm around, you know, if you want help, ping me, tag me, um, if you have, you know, any issues or questions or suggestions. That's it for groups. I hope that made sense. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video.